someone is stealing my looks right now. Um, this is this is me, but like some weird form that I can't quite pick out. So this is the new lobby, by the way. Um, it is a giant circle, and with the warehouse not even positioned correctly, because that's how high quality this game is. Look at the lights that just bleed out there. And um, there's also a new little winning board and win bonuses now. So if you get a certain amount of wins, you get golden farm, golden turret tower, rainbow noob, and omni tower. By the way, this game was moved to a new location, so if you couldn't join before, that's why you couldn't join before, because... Uh, it was moved to a new location. I think it's because it's something like um, like commission-wise or some crap. But uh, we're going to join a 1v1, I guess, not a versus mode. Wait, I wonder how versus mode works if you were to uh, join with, like, six people. Would it be just like a 3v... Yeah, it would probably be like a 3v3. But I... Oh, wait, let's go ahead and try out a 3v3. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and try out a 3v... Uh, some noobs got to... Tell <laughs> wait, Harame! No! Okay, yes, come out, yes. No! Damn it. He was lost again. Damn it, man. I had to see that twice in my eyes. Harambe. Harambe vanished right before my eyes, man. God, man. That, that sucks. Crap. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do the original map, the standard one. There are two new maps. My map might get put in. I'm not really sure. Because it takes a while to uh, actually make it as in terms of um, the path AI and bullcrap like that. But uh, there's only three people here. So, okay, cool. So, it's a 1v2. A quality, quality game already. And uh, we're going to play with Thanos. But we got to get a lot of cash first. So, I guess what I'm going to be doing is just playing, let's just deploying some noob towers. And then, yeah, I'm pretty much set for now, I guess. By the way, the uh, Swagger 21 tower is only available to me. I thought that it was going to be for everyone. But maybe in the future it might be for like a certain, a certain amount of wins. I'm not really too sure on that, though. Ali was playing this game, and apparently she struggled in this game. This game is is easy as hell. I think you got to be quite dumb to uh, lose at wave six, and then Ali played again and lost at wave ten. Props to Ali. Oh yeah, if you guys don't know who Ali is, she is another Tower Balls YouTuber. Uh, I put her in my community posts, and I made multiple views of her. So I guess that's how you can find her. I guess. Oh, look, they're finally putting in pictures. So for the GMO, there's actually now a picture. Because before, there was no pictures. It was just it was just that. I'm like, nothing else. Oh, crap, I forgot. The boss is going to spawn on wave 9 or wave 10. I'm not really too sure. And my noob towers are kind of getting useless at this point. I need either the Swagger 21 tower or the Rifler for the boss. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to get the I'm gonna get the Swagger 21 tower instead, I guess. Crap. God damn. Damn, that music. Okay, cool. Uh, I need to get the AR-15. Okay, that's clearly out of range, so I need to sell my noob towers, and hopefully that gives me enough crap. I'm... <sighs> I'm 70 bucks short. Wow. Okay, there we go. There we go. Cool. Got an AR-15. So, I'm out here bowling, and these guys are struggling on a boss. They have a jeep tower, and a bunch of farms, and like a crap ton of news. The news doesn't really matter. I think if I jump off the map, I will kill myself, so I need to, like, try and zoom in. I can't even zoom in all the way over there. Nice, I can't, I can't view my foe, and they kill the boss, so that's fine. Oh, they're gonna, sh I think this wave spawns in, too, I'm not really too sure. Look at all those noobs, man, holy crap. Then you got a soldier right there. That soldier's a pretty garbage, uh, spot to place him, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, man, look at that quality game right there, yeah, that is high quality, that's, that's what you want to see right there. And then boss is down like more than half HP. So I guess that's pretty good, but they really do need to amp up their defense. I'm out here balling with just only one tower, which is of course the superior swagger twenty one, aka Gorilla Man twenty one, aka Monkey Man twenty one, aka Harambe twenty one, aka Harambe did nothing. Oh yes, yeah, so I forgot about one of these stuff dudes. So to counter these you will actually what the hell that tower moving. So to counter these you will need to deploy riflers. And you need to be like a certain rank. And yeah, I'm like for me, it's just more Swagger 21 towers. Which I guess is kind of unfair because I'm like, r riflers cost a lot more. But you can do just fine with a rifler. You don't need, you know, super OP towers. I think they're going to die to the stealth dude. Nope, the stealth dude just died. Nice. They took care of it with rifler spam and probably soldier spam as well. with the, And probably new power. Yeah. Okay. 
By the way, this is the best value right here. It's just spamming the uh, AR-15s because not only is it super cheap, but the damage for that price is very good. So I'm going to be focusing on farms for now, I guess, because I really don't need to worry about uh, getting more defense. And then our stealth dude, let's see how he fares with, with the superior 21s. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That's some juicy damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two stealth dudes, no problem. No problem, huh? Yeah. Woo! Woo! Okay, cool. And they're just spamming Jeeps. Uh, Jeeps in this game cause a lot of lag. That's why I don't like using the Jeeps, but I guess they are good to counter stealth dudes just because you don't need to invest a whole lot of money in them, I guess. By the way, in versus mode, you can still sin, by the way. Uh, I don't think I want to kill them, though, just yet because I need to make sure I'm invested. Wait, are they sending to me? I can't tell they sent, but... I have one more boss in them. I'm not sure if they're killing the bosses that fast. No, uh, I think these guys are sending. Hold on, wait, let me ask. Are you guys sending? If they're sending, I'm gonna crush these guys in seconds. So I've been conversating, and this guy, this guy David, admitted that it was JC. And uh, I noticed I had like nine more bosses than they did. So in my conclusion, in my own little scanning, they were indeed sitting and I'm going to crush them when I get the Thanos Tower and I do and I do a bit of gameplay with that and, I, and I'm just going to absolutely wreck them. They did this to themselves. They brought upon my wrath. I didn't just mercilessly do it willy nilly. They spawned in themselves. Yeah, they're struggling pretty hard while I'm basically out here spawn killing because of the golden minigun gorillas. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this evolution. Spider 21 in 2014, and then now in 2019, and then in 2022. Okay, uh, I think they're still... Yeah, they're still sending because uh, no more bosses are spawning for them, but they're still sending bosses. I don't think this guy knows that I'm just spawn killing the crap out of his things, and I don't... I, I don't yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to make... Some dude left already. Cool. Yep, they're, uh, they won't be able to make it. Cool. Okay, cool. Cool. So I was going to play with, oh my god, the Thanos Tower. Holy crap, that's some huge range. Look at that. Oh my, oh my. Let's sell these gorillas. Let's, let's leave the Thanos to do it himself. That was only 100 damage. IDK. That's 200 damage. Uh, faster snap. Okay, just spams it. Super sight. Range of the map. Ultimate snap of the universe. It's like a thousand damage per snap. That's not even that good. I I wanted this dude to one shot. What the hell? Okay, maybe maybe we just need to spam it. Yeah, okay. Maybe we just need to spam it. Oh my god, look at the range of the map! My god, I, it's it's the size of like three maps. My god, that is huge. Wow. I'm like, it, it's a shame that it doesn't target their their stuff as well, but it just targets my. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to send. Screw, screw, screw this dude, because he sent a bunch of bosses to me. I'm gonna do the same, buddy. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. <laughs> You're screwed now, buddy. You're doing like zero damage to those two baking hairs over there, and that boss is going to the red circle. And oh, apparently he didn't die. Okay, come on, baking hair. Come on, baking hair. Baking hair. I know you can do it, baking hair. Baking hair. Oh my. This is what you get for sending. And died. Because I'm just going to do survival and just spam a bunch of dinos near the end. Okay, I'm on co up right now. And basically, they're just spamming a bunch of noobs. And I don't need to really worry about much. Because uh, I'm like, noob tower spam is just going to shred every single baking hair that comes out. And I can just focus purely on farming. I wonder um, how we are going to go ahead and do it against this boss and like gets a bunch of noob towers all right to be honest that that's that's actually quite a bit of damage but it's definitely not going to be enough to uh kill it so i'm not really sure how they're going to respond because i just want to focus purely on farming the jeeps are not going to be able to kill it i mean it's just too much of a slow spawn rate oh someone put down a soldier in the worst spot you can put it up two soldiers in the worst spots you can put it in three three soldiers okay that is a bit overkill for the most crappiest spots you can put it in Okay, buddy. Okay, and...
soldiers are, 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 are already out of range. See, if you put it in the middle, that would have been like, I don't know, a thousand times better. I already maxed out my towers, so I just pretty much wait and pretty much just wait until like wave 20 something so I can save a lot of money from the farms. And then just spam by a bunch of Thanos towers. Okay, okay, I think it's, hard, it's time to start snapping people away. So I'm gonna sell a farm, put down this tower, and like I don't really need it to put like in the middle or anything. I can just put like you know I'm gonna put all the Thanos towers, like I guess over here. Yeah, okay. And then we're gonna snap them all. Cool. There we go. It's going to work. It's going to work. I think, yeah, I think I'm just one shot, yeah, I, I was I, I was one shotting all those bosses, but I need more Thanos in order to spawn kill faster. I don't one shot the baking here, unfortunately, because uh, I only do a thousand damage per uh, per snap, but that's about two thousand damage per second, because it, cause it does like two snaps in one second, so two thousand damage in one second, so if we can only have fourteen towers in this game, fourteen times two, twenty-eight, so that's... 28,000 damage I do per second. That is, uh, I basically one shot these bacon here bosses. Look at how detailed his hand is. Look at that. Look at that precision making right there, bro. That's amazing right there. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on saving up money for my farms because that's what's mostly making me most of my money. And then I'm gonna start buying a bunch of Thanos. Uh, so far, I can afford like three of them max so that's not very good that i can only afford three of them max. oh crap this is the hard part because there's like 10 of those stealth dudes in one okay cool so i'm gonna sell one of these farms and we're gonna get a second thanos and there we go bam there we go we're gonna shred them that's is this four thousand damage i'm doing per second from only two towers and that costs me a lot of money so yeah i think we're gucci now yeah yeah those phasers are good but they only lock on to one there's like multiple of them i think we already killed them all though let's see I think this, yeah, this should be the last one. And yeah, there we go. Man, these Thanos are lit. I just realized that a hundred snaps from one that from one Thanos is enough to pay back itself because it causes a hundred thousand to buy that uh, last max thing. So they just need to do a hundred snaps, and they make the money back. So I think I should probably sell more, more of my farms and just keep going to the Thanos I guess because I make more money like that yeah I think I make more money like that if, from these farms yeah I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna sell three farms no wait four farms five farms six farms okay yeah let's sell six farms and I'm gonna buy a bunch of Thanos tower cool max that let's see who's coming up oh it's a bunch of boss ones but they all died nice and faster snap and another max and another Thanos and another Thanos, and I'm poor. At this point, I'm pretty much spawn killing, and uh, now we're getting to the SpongeBob bosses, and now I'm not starting to spawn kill, but I'm not sure if the phasers aren't doing the, the majority of the work, or I'm doing the majority of the work, but look at the damage in the top right, and that's pretty much how much damage I'm doing. And from, e from each of these snaps, it is 1,000 damage. Yeah, I don't need these farms anymore. Uh, these farms are now worthless to me. Thanos snaps is where I make my money now because that's how rich I am. Okay, I won't be able to form max ones anymore. I want to make like a line of them. A perfect, well, not so perfect line anymore, but but just like a line in general. Just at least try to make a line in general. And there we go. Look at how many Thanos we got, bro. Look at how many Thanos there is. Look at that power. Okay, just one more. Wait. Oh, crap. Okay, we maxed out the towers, so now it's just a... Uh, a, a moment of me getting the last max one and this is the final wave which I'm like it it really isn't much it's, ju it's just a bunch of these for the war guys that come out but I spawn kill them yeah I, I, I just spawn kill them with the Thanos tower nice yeah okay I'm I, I max up. we and then I said we won and then we get teleported back to the lobby yep that was the power of Thanos so it's bad on, on just one that on one Thanos tower but when you have 14 of him you pretty much spawn kill, and it's way better than phasers, because I'm like, phasers, they take a while to uh, get all the damage, and while these Dano Towers, they just snap away their fingers, but it does require 100 wins. This is something that Tarballs doesn't do, because uh, towers in that game, they're not locked by win base, but they're rather locked by credit base, and there's no credits in this game, so you, so you don't need to really worry about uh, pay-to-win type of stuff, it's just based on how much time you spent into the game 
And you could do just fine with the normal towers. It's just that you would struggle a lot more, I guess. While these are super easy. I'm going to get that golden farmer. That, that golden farmer looks hot. 